everyone. So last week we talked about the legal moves for balancing equations and we came up with these four and we tested them to make sure that every time it came um, to be that they didn't change the relationship that was already there. So we talked a lot about changing the relationship or not changing the relationship. The legal moves do not change the relationship. So these are the four. Either we can remove balanced sets, which means we're taking the exact same value from opposite sides of the mat. So something from side A, something from side B. The next one is removing zero pairs. That's a positive and a negative pair of the same tile. So either the ones, a positive and negative one, a positive or negative X, um, but those have to be from the same side. So like mat A, or mat B. The next one was adding balance sets. So adding the same value to opposite sides. Sometimes this helps us to make some zero pairs um, that then we can remove and simplify more. And then we can add zero pairs. So a positive and a negative pair added to the same side. So maybe a positive and a negative one added to mat A. So those are some examples. Now we're going to look at what those actually look like with tiles. And I linked this in Schoology. It is CPM's eTools for the tiles. And there is a whole bunch of different things that you can do with them. We've actually worked with the base 10 blocks before. Um, they also have number lines. Um, our toothpicks and tiles with the area and perimeter. So all of these tools are on there. They are the algebra tiles and then the backgrounds. We have been working with the comparison mat. So I'm going to use that. And there are a whole bunch of different ones that you can use just so that it fits your screen. I'm actually going to use the small tablet one just so I have some more to remove my tiles too. Uh, but now I'm going to start looking at my tiles and let's say I have something like this. I'm just totally making this up right now. Who knows what's going to happen. Okay, so here is my group of tiles. I have a side A and side B. It's not labeled, but we're just going to say side A is the left side, which is what we've been practicing with, and then the right side is side B. So my legal moves. What can I do here to show or to simplify my mats? Well, the first thing I like to do is make zero pairs. So I see right now that I have a positive and a negative one on, whoops, on mat A's side. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to actually remove them from the mat. Um, on side B, I also see a positive and a negative one. So I've removed zero pairs there. Um, I also see a positive and a negative X. So I'm going to take those off as well. So all I've done so far is remove zero pairs. The next thing I want to do is remove my balance sets. So that's removing the same things on both sides. So I see that I have a positive X on both sides. I actually have two positive X's on both sides. I'm going to take both of those off. I've removed the exact same tile from both sides. I have two positive ones on each side that I can remove. And then I'm left with a positive one. So then we would compare, we would say um, the left side is the expression, the simpl simplified expression is positive one. The simplified expression of mat B is zero, so one is greater than zero, mat A is greater than mat B. Okay, so that is one example. Let me see if I can remove all of these really easily. It's not looking like it. Okay, so let's 
I'm going to refresh it, and then it'll be all cleaned off. Okay, so comparison that again for my small tablet. Um, there may also be a time that you need to add zero pairs to help simplify a little bit more, or um, you might be asked to get all of the X's alone on one side. So let's say I have something... like this. Um, and I want to get the X's alone on one side. Right now, I have positive X on mat A. I have negative X on mat B. So I can't take those away. I can't just move my X. So I need to add something so that I can get rid of the X on that B side. You always want to make the X's positive. When we get to solving more equations, that's going to be really helpful if the X's are positive. So I want the X's to be on Matt A's side because the X over there is already positive. So I think in order to do that, this time I'm going to add the same thing to both sides. And to get rid of the negative x on side b, I have to add a positive x because that's going to make a zero pair. But if I do that to one side, I also have to add it to the other. Now I can take those two and remove that zero pair. And now I just have x's on one side. However, I still have some ones over there. So in order to simplify fully, and I also have a zero pair here, so I'm going to take those away. I can remove one from each side. I can take the one away there, but now I still have two x's and one positive one over there, so I want to get rid of that. Um, and so I'm going to add a negative one to each side. There we go. Now I can make my zero pairs. I've made a zero pair there and removed them. So now I have two x's on one side and negative one on the other. So there is an instance where you needed to add some positives or add this, a balance set to each side in order to move things where you need to move them to. I kept everything equivalent, everything um, still had the same relationship. So let's come up with a time where you might need to add a zero pair. Okay, the last, the last example um, for adding zero pairs uh, might be if you have uh, an expression math that looks like this or a comparison math that looks like this with two positive x's and three positive ones on one side and three negative ones on the other. Right now, I don't have any balance sets I can remove. Um, so one way I might get those x's alone is to add zero pairs to the side B. So I might do something like add these three positives and these three negatives. And now I do have a balance set that I can remove. I can remove three positives from this side. I can make remove these positives from this side. So now in order to remove a balance set, what I have done is I have added um, three zero pairs, and then I could remove the three positives on each side. So those are the different examples of ways that you can use the tiles and remove or use the legal moves.